This is shit that Ford Bronco Sport owners say. All right, so my sister just got this Ford Bronco Sport. This is the Big Bend edition right here. I don't know why they're trying to brag about it. It takes away two of the amenities with the sunroof and the towing kit. Just basically loses the value of the SUV. We got the sleek all blacked out edition with the uh, stuff on the top here so you can tow stuff because you can't tow it from the back. At least it makes up for it a little bit. So now this Ford Bronco here is supposed to be an off-road vehicle, but the only off-roading being done is just high school girls driving over curbs every day. Another reason why it's not really an off-road vehicle is a reason that's gonna be under the car. So normally I'd show you, but there's this fancy skid plate at the bottom so you can't see. But basically what the Ford engineers made for an off-road vehicle was the drain plug being on the front at the bottom. So if you hit any sort of rock and hit that drain plug, Screw. We got this all blacked out edition same, except the license plate in the Bronco because you want to notice that it's a Bronco, especially with these nice headlights right here. It's really nice until they break and then you have to drop $500 trying to replace one. We got this nice hood up here, but what is it hiding under the hood? Oh, voila, you see all this fancy stuff. It's a 2022, so it's obviously very clean. But there's a lot of space in here. You wonder why? Because this Sport Edition has a three cylinder. Who would have thought to put a three cylinder in an SUV? Thanks a lot, Ford. So maybe there's not a big enough engine because this can roll easy. You know, she takes turns hard, hit curbs and everything. So I guess this is a good car for her. But we go to the specifications in here. You got a whole bunch of room. So I mean, if you want a Mod, you can. It's a 2022. I don't know why you'd want a Mod a new car. But this is for my sister. She doesn't really know anything about cars, so it's perfect for her. <laughs> There's not much to see in here. Everything's pretty small. We're in Texas. Everything's supposed to be bigger in Texas, but I guess not the Bronco's engine. That's all you really want to see from the hood. So we'll drop it down. Looks better with it closed. Now we'll go to the back of the car. On the way to the back of the car, you see this nice, I, I actually very appreciate this design of the rim. And also you can see here in the middle, we got another horse. So instead of it being a Mustang, a nice, known, strong horse, it's a Bronco horse. But we'll go to the back. <laughs> All right, so we're up on the back here. We got a whole bunch of badges, starting with this one right here. It's pretty good. Go, go Cougars. I don't know why they made this tiny little windshield wiper back here. Like, look at all this. And then a tiny, like, Bronco Sport. Now we actually have the Sport back here. So people behind you know what a trash car you have, or slow, sorry. And then of course Ford badge, yeah, whatnot, yada yada. But now it's open, it gets to the good part, the actual good part about this car. So you pop it open, look at all this space. We got a 60 pound dog we can fit back here. I can fit back here. Like, oh my God. It may not be the fastest, the most well-built car, but there are two amenities that I love. Maybe because I'm German or whatnot, but over here, as you can see here, we got the the best part about this car, it's a bottle opener. Ooh. Ford, I'll give you credit for that, because that's pop. But I'm not 21 yet, so I'm not drinking yet. But that's cool. Also, we got lights here if you want to tailgate and stuff. Nice shaded cover. So this is probably the best part about it. Nothing about the driving or anything, but just whenever you're stopped. Now on this side, we have a very special button here. It's a jellyfish launcher. Look at this. <laughs> like, that's shouting out to my, like, cartoon I grew up with Spongebob like I'm gonna launch some jellyfish up there out of Bikini Bottom but that's actually the lights the light. <laughs> but yeah I mean that's that's pretty much it for the back we're gonna close this up another part you got a backup camera which is nice 2022 you can also oh my gosh like that that's that's just amazing right there okay so now when we're getting in the car you got also this nice Bronco horse staring into your soul right here which is nice doing this back heel kick or whatever but we got a whole bunch of amenities it's 2022 so obviously it's going to be nice uh the one thing that i don't get though is the prindle right here like it's it's a knob it's a volume switch you have this ac thing with this you have this ac thing that looks exactly like it like well, i'm gonna be going six down the highway turn up the ac and be like ah! and then die oh, but I never got those things. Just put the original like shifter. It's, I, I don't get this new stuff. Any new car is gonna be pushed to start. I don't even need the keys to start. That's amazing. And you pop up here, you got the Eloella Cella. <laughs> but you got the car, Apple Play. It's a discrimination towards Samsung, but I mean, Apple's better in pretty much every way. 
The one feature I don't get either is this auto stop feature right here. First of all, when you turn it off, it always turns back on. So every time you turn on the car, it turns on. But what it does is when you're at a red light, you're stopped. Uh, it turns off the car, like everything except for the radio. So when you're sitting in 105 degree weather every day in Texas for summer and your car turns off, the AC turns off too. I'm like, why would you make that? whenever it's hot and plus that wears out your starter so you're going to end up spending more money replacing a starter than that minute bit of money you're going to save on gas with your car turning off you're just going to be all hot and sweaty in the car and you're going to pull up to your meeting and they'll be like would you run here like no nah, i was driving a ford bronco <laughs> an amenity that i really like though that i wish i had in my 2007 car is this goat mode i don't know why it's called goat mode it's the same pretty much in every new car but if you could see here whenever i turn it it shifts from drive mode. So I like how it's called go mode and it says drive mode up there, but you have normal, eco, sport, slippery, and sand. Cause they know Ford Bronco owners can't drive when it's slippery outside. But whenever you put it in sport mode, it actually activates all three of the cylinders, like all three, all the way. So you get the max output of three cylinders in an SUV, which is not all right, so the last feature I'm gonna talk about in here is the uh, the back seat reminder. So it can remind you of the mistakes that you made that are in the back seat, even though they're screaming and already reminding you constantly. But basically you just turn off the car. Like obviously I'm gonna forget about them. They're like annoying me. Fuck about the car. <laughs> All right, this is Carl's Garage and this has been the 2022 Ford Bronco Sport. Oh God. Let's get